Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. Um, it's early. <laughs> just it's not quite eight o'clock um i've dropped sky off waited for her transport to school and she's now on it so i am now going to asda i'm parked in the asda car park now because i need to go and get some bits and bobs um i love it she's just she's so happy and she's doing so well at this school and in the morning now i've you know i've been doing the drop off this week because rob's away and we've been having such a great time in the car we listen to music together and then we get into the giggles and she's leaving this car every morning with proper belly laughs going on it's so good to see her like start her day in such a positive happy beaming smile and it's because i sing really badly and then i do stupid dancing and this time we got caught by the other parents stood at the bus stop waiting for the transport to come and uh, <laughs> that made her laugh even more because because everyone started giggling at us anyway um i'm gonna go and get some bits that i need from asda then emma and i need to sit down and have a quick cup of tea and go through the paperwork that i need to be spending my day doing today and then i've also got the tumble dryer being fixed hoping he'll have a little look at the washing machine because it's leaking since its last repair <sighs> yeah just things to do so i'm gonna do it Oh my god wow um that was something else wasn't it i'm a bit stunned um that was something else i literally i just came out of asda and as i was coming out of the bit where you you know where the checkouts are the other end of the checkouts walking towards the doors this 
elderly gentleman in a mobility scooter literally came careering round the corner. I mean, he's in a shop. He should not be going the speed he's going. Rammed straight into the trolley. And thank God it was a trolley. Now I'm sitting here thinking if that had been my legs or a kid. You know, if I'd got one of the kids walking with me, they usually walk in front of the trolley. And he came round and he literally took out the trolley and rammed it against between like crushed the trolley between him in his mobility scooter and a huge great big um display of beer and thankfully it wasn't individual bottles of beer otherwise that would have been an absolute nightmare um it was the you know the big boxed offers but he, he still had his fingers on the accelerator and i was trying to move the trolley and it was literally it was being crammed up against it and he's going, oh, oh, look at me. I shouldn't have done that. Um, I hope you've got good insurance or something. And I'm just looking at my, my eyes must have been wide and popping out of my head. Because I'm just, it's the fact he still had his fingers on the accelerator. He's still pushing it into the thing. It's like he didn't, he didn't take his fingers off the accelerator. And, I, and I'm, I come back to the car and I'm just like, thank God that wasn't one of the kids. Thank god they weren't walking in front of me you know and i don't have them with me well, thank god that wasn't two seconds more and he's gone into my legs because like two a few minutes like a few seconds later because that would have been my legs crushed up against there okay decompress that was that was an experience i'm having a pancake because i've got the shakes now right i need to go it's quarter to 11 and I've sat and we've chatted through some policies and procedures and risk assessments and things that we need to do for you talk um, over at Emma's after I've dropped Sky off. So um, I've got something to be working on, I've got quite a lot to be working on to be honest. I do however need to sort this house out, I need to get the geese out in the garden so I'm going to do that as well. I'm actually going to shut them out there and let them have a play. So what did you know? <laughs> um yeah let them have a play outside and this house smells of geese so i'm ventilating i'm going to mop floors with some disinfectant it's not in the floors it's just in the air because of their pen thing i might actually spray off their pen because it looks like it's sunny so i'm going to take that out hose pipe it down disinfect it a little bit and leave it to dry and then i can set it back up again later so that's my plan of action just a quick flick around get some laundry on i've got the tumble dry guy coming i've got shopping to put away i put the fridge stuff in the fridge but i still got stuff that needs putting away so i need to do that and um yes i'll come back to you in a bit i hate food waste but sometimes things don't get eaten it's a whole pot of coleslaw here that i bought for lee to go with fajitas i don't know why he didn't eat it with his fajitas anyway it's going to waste because it's very out of date. I'll go oh, in the food bowl. And then this was my coleslaw, which I didn't finish. And that's also out of date. Bought it at the same time. I'm not big on eating meals. I'm not very good at eating meals. Um, and then this has been open. It's No, it's out of date as well, actually. So that can go. It's been open too long as well. Oh. And I opened this before I went away, had my half because I thought Lee might be interested in it. It wasn't as nice as I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Um, but yeah. So there's a lot of food waste there, which I'm not happy about. I hate to waste. Anyway, I need to go and put this in the bin. I need to rinse these recycling things out and put them in the recycling. Put some other bits in the black bin bags. Sort the geese out. Haven't done that yet. This is me. I say I'm going to do a job and then I get sidetracked with another job. But that was because I was putting this stuff away that I hadn't put in the fridge. So, right. Come on, Pip. Right, that's been bleached. I'm going to rinse this off, put it through the washing machine. I think that'll go through the washing machine. I've bleached the front of the units and the white goods. I have bleached the sink, just had a bite to eat. 
wipe the sides down. I'm going to take this stuff out to the bin. I've got a recycle bag to take out to the bin. And I'll go check on the geese. And you've been keeping me company. You were waiting for me by the door, weren't you? No. Oh, you, it's just a big poon army. Oh, it's just, this is my life right now. Oh. You chilling? You want to go in the garden? Okay, you've had a chew, you're still barking. You're being irritating. Right, if you didn't bark, you would be able to come out. I can't have you barking at the engineer. while I mop all of this. That's now dry, but I need to put the base in for a wash Ugh, when the washing machine has finished its test cycle, but it all seems fine. The engineer seems incredibly stressed. There's a lot of heavy breathing and huffing and a puffing going on. Um, I have just noticed the muddy mess they've made on there. I don't know if you can see that. You see babies splashing their water. I didn't think about that. So I'm gonna give that a wipe and then cover that up. I haven't got any of the paperwork done, but I really need to get this house tidied so and cleaned while well, there's nobody else in it. I've got to pick Kenzie up in an hour, but I also need to go down to the garage because when I came back, Spog was making a real rattly sound. Now he's been making a bit of a rattly sound for a while. Sounds like tappets, but he's a diesel and I believe they don't have tappets. So, um, it's it's that kind of t -t 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 sound but there was a strong smell of fuel as well and so my um my van life guru <laughs> has said to me that is lee um not my lee a different lee um he's actually said that it could be fuel injectors or something i can't remember the exact phrase he used but he said that would explain noise and smell so i'm going to take it up to the garage that sorted out the clutch and have a chat with them and let them listen to it it's around two and a half thousand revs it gets quite noisy and when I've been driving it for longer, it's worse. Um, so yeah, he just wants to wipe me out. I've got 300 pounds left in my savings and that's that. But not be more than that, had it? Anyway, I am going to Hoover up here. I just generally have a bit of a clean up before I need to go and do that. And then I've got to go and clean out the sheep. I might leave that till this evening when the, the new thing arrives. The new thing is arriving and you'll all be very excited about that Emma did a thing. Emma does a lot of things, but this, this particular thing Emma has done, I mean, you won't be surprised, but it happens a lot. Um, but yes, you'll see later on in the vlog what this thing is. Um, but I'm going to go and hoover and get this done. Mum, I'm awake! I'm awake! Let me out, let me out! Right, let's take you outside, you can play out there. I know, I know, I know. Right, so you boot. Here's your boot. There you go. Right, there you go. Here's your box. Here's your little bird in case you want to go in it. It's a little bird in case you want to go in it. Look at them. I want to come in. I want to come in. You keep pooing everywhere. There you go. Hey, could sleep in. Nope, don't want to. Does your mother get you the best gifts? Bottles of Prime and yeah. cans of Prime and Big Melon. There we go. Highly recommend this. I'm going to add the link to it in the description below. And then if you have a need for a pop-up 
portable pen for your creatures, then uh, go get one. It's my lucky find on Amazon. Right. Now to put all their food and drink in. Okay, this looks like we've got a raccoon. What's white? Why what? I thought you meant the poo. Are you on benefits? <laughs> Don't say that, Kenzie. I'm vlogging. <laughs> well, I, uh, right. Okay. What poo is white other than is my dog a bird? <laughs> I'm so confused by this comment. <laughs> Should we start this conversation? What have we got here? Because it looks like a raccoon from here. Bo, shush! What, what is this creature that Emma has done? A th Emma, do you want to say, we did a th you did a thing? Well, we, we, we. I, I was the one that facilitated the thing because I was the one that responded to the email. So it could have been you. It was the you're looking around the camera. Yeah. could have been me. Oh, so it was a you talk, it was a you talk email, email, was it? Yes, it okay. Was. So, but I answered it because Pip was away. So she left me in charge. Now I said, Never no. leave Emma in charge. I did no. I said, I did say no first. You and did. then I talked, said to you, and then I got an email to say that she'd been, um, she spent the weekend with um, an autistic child and has come back now not identifying as a sheep anymore and would we like her to join our flock? To which Emma and said... And then I said, oh my God, I don't really know. I'll let me know. I'll let you know. And then about five minutes later, I said, yes, please. <laughs> this is Dotty. Dotty is a Ryland. Dotty is rather adorable. Boo! Thank you. Oh, was I? I need to go upstairs and deal with the poo. I was going to say, the longer we're talking, it's now seeping itself oh, into sorry. my white room. But do you want to... It's marinating into your bedroom carpet. What Link? dog has just gone up there, by the I way? I think that was Link. But he can't do any more Link. damage. He's already pooed on Link. your rug. <laughs> so my car's broken down. Why is your car broken down, Emma? Because you did say I was cursed. You sent me a message. I, I, I will include the link. I'm starting to think that you are the one that's cursed, Pippa. My car is now not working. Oh, your track no, record of your vehicle staying in one piece is proving quite low at the moment. It is, okay, but this I've was not been my using fault. My car all week. I've been using Rob's car more. I'm just shutting the gate. Okay. What did What did you do? You did what now? Sorry, do you want to say that quite loud? Nobody can hear you. It's been a week. Wow. No, no excuses. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, what did you say? I put unleaded in my car. You did. I have never, ever, ever. And what does your car like before? to drink normally? Unleaded. No, it doesn't. What does it like <laughs> to drink normally? Diesel. Diesel. And How much did you put in it, Emma? A full tank. Full tank. That was an expensive mistake to make, Emma. I know I'm taunting you here and it's not funny really, but we have to laugh, otherwise we would. We do, we would cry. It's, that is just, that is the epitome of the last few weeks. It's the only way I can say, because I've never done that before. And I'm normally- Brain has stopped functioning. But yeah, completely. Hence why I'm looking like this. I've got but you always look hair. beautiful, even when you're harangued. Mm -hmm. Yes, I just, I wish I could pull off harangued the way you do. Okay, well, thanks. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> but one of the bonuses is, is that Rob guys have got it and so yeah. I think they're going to try and do what they can before try. Rob finds out from but watching this also, vlog it won't cost me quite so much it won't cost you quite so much no. um, and then literally I got that phone call and then Lincoln got and deposited his internal self on my white rug in my bedroom <laughs> and whilst we're talking it's it is seeping. amazing it's 
the Wild Wild Rug. Just taking and, um, this You're up. taking that up there. Yeah, I'm be taking... Spotting, isn't it, by the time yeah. Do you, do you want to give me a, an arm? <laughs> Boo! And that well. Sully! He's still super chill, despite oh, everything bro. that's going... Bro, Bo is broken. Enough! Thank you. And the only reason why behind there is because he'll be, like, in your face. He would be. Yeah, which is really why he's behind you. Oh, right, okay, I'm going to go and clear up. Um, I'm going to go and clear up the poo. It should be Kenzie clearing up his dog's poo, but... Got, like, little, it's, it's just, it looks like a goat-like. He does look yeah. like a goat. She looks like a she goat. She looks like she a goat. Looks. I think it's because our boys are goat. But he's going to change... She's going to change colour. Yeah. She's, and I was, she's going to go brown. Everybody needs to have a look online at Ryland Cross Valley. Yeah. I'll link off. I think <laughs> Bo is talking to Link. Ah, that could be what the noise is about. Because he's not... Has he met Link? He, he has met Link. met Link, yeah. Yeah, they've been playing in the garden. He's taking you off, Link, for crapping yeah. on my carpet. <laughs> I'm going to go and like deal with that. I have left Emma with absolute carnage going on at home. I went to the toilet before I left, and um, before I could go to Lou, I had to remove a face cloth, an entire roll of toilet roll, which disintegrated as I had to physically pull it out of the u-bend of the toilet and inside was half a rubber lizard that sums up that and the whole fuel in the car situation just kind of sums up life at the moment at work <laughs> just, just, i just moved into this house of chaos is what i've done i've just added myself to i don't know so it literally is a funny farm. I've moved into the funny farm. <laughs> anyway, I now have to clean out the stables because I promised I'd do that. I need to feed sheep and goats and all that jazz. Kenzie's gone home and I'm in charge of little trainee farm dog. Go on then, Link. He's been having zoomies. Zoomies! Go, 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 go! Go on then. Go find him. Right then. Hello, my fluffy family. Hello, right, ready? You're going to have to help me, guys. Oh, you're excited. You're gonna get stuck on the wrong side, Link. Got a game of football going on. Threw in the football for them with the treats in it. Babies have gone to bed. And I goat. Hello. Oh, on mass. Uh, get down, please. Thank you. Can't believe how big the lambs are. Link is finishing off sheep food in the trough. Night night babies. Night night babies. Night night babies. <laughs> <laughs>